Oh, well, uh, welcome back. This is going to be our fourth video, and we're going to be doing something that's kind of tough. Uh, we're going to be learning the G chord. And the reason the G chord is pretty tough is because it uses your pinky. Nobody likes using their pinky at first. Nobody likes that. Um, I know I hated it at first, and it becomes really important when you start learning uh, more chords, more play styles, it's really important to be able to like start using your pinky right off the bat. Um, the G chord is really important to learn, uh, especially for the chord progression that we're going to be learning at the end. Uh, so I think we'll just jump right into it, and I'll tell you a few things that you can do wrong and how to help. So to start out, it's going to be your pinky, first string, third fret. And it's going to be your ring finger, second string, third fret. And it's going to be open, open, and then the fifth string is going to be the second fret index finger. And then your sixth string, top string, is going to be your middle finger on the third fret. So, three, three, open, open, two, three. Sounds really nice. I like that chord a lot. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. And uh, I think it's really important. So how I first learned this chord was the absolute wrong way. Um, and I took me years to actually correct myself and learn the right way. So what I would do is instead of putting my pinky down here, I would play it like this. I would bar the bottom two strings with my middle finger. It sounds similar. It sounds a little bit choppy still um, and that's the wrong way to do it it may seem like you'll help yourself in the beginning but it took me years to correct it and be able to start using my pinky and that set me back a really long time um, so I think it's important you learn to use your pinky so three three open open two three Um, so this chord is really important because it's actually like the third chord in the chord progression that I'm going to teach you. And it's really hard to transition to um, from the last one. And so I really think that learning this chord and playing something else and then trying to go back into it is imperative to you actually learning the chord because you can sit here put your fingers there and play it all you want but transitioning to it is really probably the hardest part uh, because it's such a different chord structure than any of the other chords that you're going to learn right now um, and so going away from it play like a minor a few times e and then try to go into g it's not going to sound right but um, actually the chord progression we're going to learn is in the next video so I want you just to sit here and make sure everything sounds good like if you're pressing not pressing hard enough with your pinky you want to make sure you have proper pressure there it's gonna suck but it's really important and uh, another thing you have to make sure that your fingers are placed pretty much the correct way because if they're not then this your ring finger here um, might actually start bending over because it feels a little bit more comfortable that way and it could actually touch the third string and that causes the chord to not sound right um, so pressing pretty much straight on uh, is pretty important for this chord especially but most chords all chords actually but this chord especially um, so yeah let's get that practice in it's really kind of a tough one but you got it you know you can do this I believe in you um, and we'll see you in the next video I hope you learned something